Oh, hi, folks. Uh, welcome welcome to the special breakdown edition of the Cara Buller Show, wherein uh, we are videotaping a, a mental breakdown. And I think that's something that we've all been looking forward to or perhaps been experiencing the whole time with the Cara Buller Show. I only record Cara Buller Shows when we are at the brink of, of sanity or brink of insanity. How I don't know how brinks work. I mean, that's another add that to the fucking list. What, what's a brink? Is it like a, a crick? What's a crick? Is that like a creek? What's a creek? Is that like a cave? No. That's a comedy club here in New York that I've, I've been banned from. Socially. Socially, by my social anxiety, I've been banned from it. Not, a, not an official ban, but that is the classic Cara Buller ban, where my uh, extreme self-hate uh, prohibits that I enter uh, certain locations. Also, my extreme being 500 years old. Uh, okay, I'm not that old. And also, it's, it's well-preserved, thanks to the retin-A, starting at the age of nine. Folks, what are we here to talk about? We're here, I mean, we're certainly here to talk about me. I think that, <clears throat> but I am a representation of all that also exists. And what I'd like to talk, <laughs> I know the hair is, it's, there's, it's a statement haircut. It's a statement do, folks. The statement is, if one more person needs something from me, sends me an email, makes a phone call or says, hey, car, I'd like to run something by you. That person can absolutely, absolutely go fuck themselves, okay? I'm at the end of my fucking rope. I got a day job. Terrible idea. <laughs> got some major money coming in, so it's not that bad of an idea. But anyway, it's a permanent job, and I'm at the end of my rope. I got a comedy career. I'm headlining up in the Catskills. This is my childhood dream. Didn't know about Catskills in, the chi in my childhood, so that's a, a lie. Uh, third, what's the third thing? Folks... Mama, Mama is, uh, I do believe, the hero in an alcoholic family system. And that is a stunner of a revelation here today on the Cara Buller Show. I've been doing the Cara Buller Show for 10 years. Never knew I was the hero in the alcoholic family because I, I assumed there'd be some success if you're, if you're the hero in an alcoholic family. And I, I think, though, um, okay, let's be nice to myself. I, I'm incredibly successful. <laughs> I can't even say it. I'm, how am I successful? Anyway, th I'm here to help people who might be the hero in the alcoholic family. What are the signposts? What are we looking for when we have a hero in an alcoholic family? Um, <clears throat> an extreme sense, a hyper responsibility. You think you have to do it. No one else is going to do it. I'm going to start crying right now. I'm going to start crying right now because this is really deep shit. Um, the hero feels... God damn it. God damn it, you guys. This is too fucking heavy. <laughs> trying to do a comedy show and I'm crying about... I mean, this is... This is how it goes. This is what... This is the power of live television. You know? You never know when you're going to have a moment. Right? Right? And I know we saw the Grammys this year, we saw the Super Bowl, and that was some good television. But also, I think what, what we're having right now is also some really, really powerful television. The hero in the alcoholic family feels like they need to fill the void. They need to be the adult. Because nobody else is being the adult. <laughs> ah, folks, I did not know we were... I didn't know there was... You know, didn't know there was this much going on. And yet I did, you know, right? Right. And yet we, we do know. Um, when, you, when your hair, when you have stopped having any regard for your physical appearance, something's going on. Uh, I want to recommend two documentaries about alcoholism, you guys. If you're um, needing to have some fun and just have some extra time, like I do, I watch documentaries on alcoholism. Uh, the first one is Betty's Story, The Life and Death of an Alcoholic. Oh, God, I just can't even, I can't even get through this TV show. The content is so heavy. Uh, and this is a very clear-eyed view of the death of somebody's mom to this devastating disease that is alcoholism. And it's a very long and boring movie with a lot of um, medical imagery. 
Oh, another documentary about um, alcoholism in women is Something's Wrong with Aunt Diane. Something was terribly wrong with Aunt Diane. This is the woman who was driving 70 miles an hour southbound on the northbound Taconic Highway uh, out of her mind on um, marijuana and liquor. And I have never been in that position. So, who you know, let's not judge until we're wearing her moccasins. Um, but I, in the documentary, they reveal that her mother left her when she was nine years old. And you know what? You gotta journal that shit out or one of these days you're gonna be driving 90 miles an hour southbound in the northbound lane <laughs> and kill, like, seven people. Folks, um, I'm not, I'm not, the, I, somehow I spiritually feel connected to this woman who refused to journal. I don't, I don't know if she journaled, but... Proof is in the pudding, folks. She needed a, she needed the Diane Shiler show. She should have been doing, I mean, you know, you put the kids to bed and then you pull out the tripod and you, you fucking get that shit out, you know, get that shit out, get it up and out, put it out there to the world, uh, that you hate your husband, that your husband's doing jack shit. He's not helping with the laundry and your mom is a shit bag for leaving at nine or her, your mom is a human being, a faulty, a flawed, beautiful child of God who just couldn't do it. I, do, I am coming to believe in this idea that we're all just doing the best we can. I, you know, I think a lot of us hated that phrase at first. I've heard this, you know, that's just like, uh, no, people need to be doing better than the best that they can. And they just can't, you know. That is a much better... I, you guys, I really understand the quality of television that I'm making right now. And, but you know what? Guess who's doing the best she can, television making wise? Carl Buller, right? Right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna.